This is David Gray, Mandan, North Dakota. Today is February 23rd, 2023. The Charles Carroll House and Garden in Annapolis, Maryland, is the home of uh, an urban residence of its most famous owner, Charles Carroll of Carrollton, uh, the only Catholic signer of the Declaration of Independence. Today, the property is on the grounds of St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. It is owned by the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, the Redemptorists, a Roman Catholic congregation of priests and brothers. The Carroll House is one of only 15 surviving signers' birthplaces in the United States. The Carroll House and the surrounding site has been ex expanded, altered, and redeveloped over the past 350 years, but the property remains one of the very few essentially intact 18th century sites in the Annapolis uh, Historical District. The story of the house spans several periods, pre-1700, the original Carroll purchases, the original brick house and expansions, uh, the uh, Redemptorist uh, novitiate period, and its current use. The house should be interpreted as the abode of a signer of the Declaration of Independence, significant to our national, hearing, uh, national history, as a state historic site for Maryland, and a site reflecting the beginnings of religious liberty in the United States. <clears throat> the Carroll House is a restoration in progress. Uh, the land around the Charles Carroll House was first settled in the late 1600s as part of the Anne Arundel town. Uh, Charles's grandfather, Charles the Settler, purchased uh, lots for the house between 1701 and 1716, and it's located at the end of the Duke of, uh, the Duke of Gloucester Street and uh, Spa Creek in Annapolis. Uh, construction on the home uh, commenced in 1720 by uh, Charles's father, uh, Charles Carroll of Annapolis. Uh, the Carroll House underwent numerous additions during the lifetime of Charles Carroll of Carrollton. By the 1790s, it became the four-story house as seen today. In 1821, at the age of 83, at the age of 83, Charles Carroll moved to his daughter's home in Baltimore, and the family rented uh, the Annapolis property. In 1822, the first Catholic church, St. Mary's, was built on the Carroll property. Charles Carroll died in 1832 and had no male heirs. Uh, his daughters inherited the property in 1852. Um, they uh, consigned the property to uh, the Redemptorists um, and uh, under the condition that it always be consecrated for uh, religious use. Uh, the congregation uh, moved their novitiate immediately from uh, downtown Baltimore uh, to the uh, Carroll House. By 1856, more room was needed by the Redemptorists and a West Wing uh, was added. From 1907 to 1968, the Carroll House served as the, as the novitiate and center for missionary activity in the eastern United States and Canada. The site provides excellent insights in the span of Maryland in American history and efforts to restore and tell the Carroll story uh, house are continuing. Exterior renovation took place in the period uh, 1983 to 1986 with funding from the Mar Maryland uh, Historical Trust. Restoration projects continued from uh, 1986 through 2001 when interior restoration was partially completed, in which 20th century fixtures and alterations have been removed and older features exposed. Uh, the scope of the project included authentic restoration and adaptation for meeting and reception facilities, historical displays, offices, restrooms, and light uh, food service. Significantly, archaeological work in 1986 revealed artifacts that indicated uh, the family slaves likely inhabited the ground floor of the mansion in the uh, 18th and 19th centuries. But who was Charles Carroll of Carrollton? The Carrolls were among the most prominent Catholics in the English colonies in uh, the early United States. At the time of the American Revolution, Charles Carroll was the richest man in America. One cousin, John Carroll, was the first Roman Catholic bishop of the United States, having been named first bishop of Baltimore in 1783. Charles Carroll of Carrollton was born on September 19, 1737, at the home in, in Annapolis. Young Charles was sent in 1747 at the age of 10 to Maryland's eastern shore, along with his cousin John Carroll, 
to study secretly at the Jesuit school at Bohemia Manor in Cecil County. In 1749, Charles and his cousin John were sent to study at St. Omer's in French Flanders. On his return to Maryland in 1765, Charles Carroll was given 10,000 acre uh, tract of land called Carrollton, located in uh, Frederick County in Maryland. Although he would never live there, uh, Carroll added the word Carrollton to his signature to distinguish himself from other Charles Carrolls. In 1768, he married his cousin, Mary Darnell, and uh, began major improvements to his uh, family's urban home and gardens in Annapolis. They had seven children, only three of whom lived to adulthood. They were busy and gracious hosts uh, to such dignitaries as George Washington and the Marquis de Lafayette. Politics kept the family busy through the Revolutionary War, and in 1783, the Annapolis home and grounds were the sites of the official state celebration uh, for peace and independence. Carroll uh, immersed himself in revolutionary politics beginning in 1773. He was appointed to the Annapolis Committee of Correspondence and Council of Safety and elected to the Second uh, Maryland Convention in 1774. His election, in effect, uh, uh, lifted the ban on Catholics serving in Maryland politics, and um, he was uh, uh, subsequently elected to the Second Convention in 1774. Early in 1776, Charles Carroll, Samuel Chase, and Benjamin Franklin were appointed as commissioners uh, by the Continental Congress to Canada, along with Carroll's cousin, John Carroll, uh, they tried to enlist uh, Canadian support and alliance in the growing conflict with Britain. Although this delegation returned unsuccessful, Carroll was elected as a Maryland representative and joined the other delegates at the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia. There he signed the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia on August 2nd, 1776. He was the only Catholic signer. Charles Carroll was active in the formation of a new government for Maryland. He was appointed as a delegate to the convention to write Maryland's first state uh, constitution and declaration of rights and became a member of the first Maryland Senate. Carroll was appointed a delegate to Congress in 1777. And in 1789, he became one of Maryland's first two senators. By 1800, 1800, Carroll had retired from politics to concentrate on his business affairs. Considered the largest slaveholder at the time of the revolution and owning nearly 500 slaves, he later uh, became president of the American Colonization Society. Carroll became one of the founders of the Chesapeake and Ohio uh, Canal Company and invested heavily in many banks and held securities to build uh, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, serving uh, on its first board of directors. In 1826, Charles Carroll became the last uh, surviving signer of the Declaration of Independence with the deaths of Thomas Jefferson and John Adams on July 4th. Charles Carroll died at the age of 95 on November 14th, 1832, and was interred at the family country seat uh, at Dorregan Manor, west of Ellicott City. Uh, the Charles Carroll House is open for self-guided and guided tours April through October. The house is also available for rent for private events such as weddings and receptions. Thank you for your attention.